Hello, everyone. The topic of this talk is on functional graph-based generic attack on hash combiners. First, recall the security requirements for hash, for hash functions. The collision resistance, that is, it should be difficult to find two distinct messages have the same message digest. And pre-image resistance, uh, for a given target value, it should be difficult to find the message that have the digest equals to this value. And second, pre-image resistance, for a given message, it should be difficult to find another message have the digest equals to this, uh, that of the M. So, uh, for ideal hash function, we could ex expect the security for collision resistance to be 2 to the n divided by 2 I mean, because of the burst attack and 2 to the n for pre-image and second pre-image resistance. So we usually build uh, the hash function use iterative construction. A classical one is the Merkle-Dangat construction. For a given message, it first append uh, some padding bits and the message length, uh, so that the length uh, is dividable by b, and it uh, split the message into blocks of b bits. Uh, then use those uh, message blocks to update an internal state with an identical compression function. Uh, note that the last message block uh, uh, is encoded with the message lines. And this is the so-called uh, the lens strengthening. So among the rest of approach to build a secure hash function, there is one uh, use the so-called combiner, and that is to combine multiple unrelated hash function in such a way that the resulting function could provide uh, the security amplification of uh, security robustness. That is, the combiner is more secure than its underlying hash function. Oh, it is secure as long as at least one of the underlying hash function is secure. So, uh, two classical uh, hash combiner are the concatenation combiner and the XOR combiner. Uh, the, for, uh, the former precise the, the same message under the two hash function in parallel and uh, output the concatenate of the two n-bit hash digest uh, so that uh, the output is of two n-bit. And the later output the XOR of the two n-bit hash digest so the result is of uh, uh, n-bit. Uh, besides the uh, parallel combiner, there are also cascade combiner, uh, such as hash twice and vapor hash. The former sequentially process the same message under the uh, two hash function by replacing the uh, IV of the second hash function with the uh, final state of the ha first hash function. And the zipper did very similar. Uh, however, it processed the message block in a reverse order under the second hash function. And uh, there are two research lines on the security of hash combiners. The first is uh, the generic attack, which could provide a upper bound on the security. And the sec second is on security proof, uh, which provided the lower bound. And this uh, talk uh, mainly uh, focused on the generic attacks. Um, before 2004, people uh, expect that uh, the concatenate of two unbeat ideal hash function could provide, uh, could uh, behave like a two unbeat uh, hash function. And uh, the XOR of two unbeat uh, uh, ideal hash function could behave like uh, an ideal unbeat hash function. However, in 2004, Drunks invited uh, uh, a highly influential tour named uh, John, um, Drunks Multi Collision by iteratively uh, gen generate uh, the collision use burst attack K times. One uh, could get two to the K messages uh, that uh, maps the start state to the uh, final state. So directly use drunk multi collision, one can launch the collision attack on concatenation combiner with two to the two, uh, n divided by two computations and uh, two to the n uh, uh, computations uh, for pre-image attack. 
So that result show that uh, the concatenate of two hash function cannot provide uh, much higher security than a single hash function. Uh, that is, uh, at, at, uh, as long as at uh, least uh, one of the hash function is of iterative. Uh, so the next year, Kelsey and Snare invented another kind of uh, multi-collision known as the expandable message, used a very similar process. However, the, uh, the message uh, lines are of uh, carefully chosen lines so that the uh, two to the n messages are of lines cover the whole appropriate range. So, uh, Use this expandable message, Kelsey and Snare launch a second pre-image attack on the MD hash function. The key is that the expandable message can overcome the length strengthening in MD. So this is the security nature of the uh, MD hash in 2005. Uh, this data maintains for almost uh, for 10 years until recently several attacks show that uh, the concatenate uh, the uh, hash combiner uh, cannot provide the expected security and the most uh, relative one uh, is uh, uh, denies the second free image attack on concatenation combiner and uh, they also improve the uh, pre-image attack on XOR combiner. So a primary attack, uh, second pre-image attack on concatenation combiner extends from uh, Kelsey and Snare's attack uh, will not work efficiently because of two problems. The first is that uh, one have to build a, a message, a site of message that are uh, expandable and collision for both of the two hash function. And the second uh, problem is that uh, one have to efficiently map the final state of the uh, expandable message to a pair of uh, internal state at uh, the same alpha site. So mm, this is actually of two n bit. So to overcome the first uh, problem, the NAR uh, combine the expandable message, uh, message with uh, drunk multi-collision and uh, cascade several basic models of proper truth and lines. Uh, it could uh, build a site of message that is expandable and collision for both of the two hash function. And then uh, to um, solve the second problem, uh, Dinar used the functional graph. The functional graph of random mapping uh, is a direct uh, graph whose nodes are from this range and the edge are from the pre-image to the image. Uh, so suppose that from a random node x0, uh, by iterative it used a random mapping f before n times and almost the, the square root of n times iteration, we will find a collision, uh, the, the value will collide with a uh, before evaluate value. We say this collision is an alpha node and uh, the pi's connected to a cycle. And uh, when starting from all possible points, we will find those uh, pi's confluence into trees and these trees graft on cycles and form a component, and several components form the whole functional graph. So properties of functional graph has been well studied a long time ago, and those properties, uh, for example, the expected number of uh, cyclic nodes, uh, the expected uh, max, numbers, uh, max cycle lines, et cetera, have been well known. And those properties has also been widely uh, exploited to launch a variety of attacks on hash-based uh, uh, mics. Dinar uh, found that uh, those properties can also be used to uh, launch uh, efficient attacks on hash combiner. 
So to use the generic, uh, the, the functional graph, we first uh, fix uh, uh, an arbitrary message into the compression functions and uh, turn them into two uh, random n to n random mappings, and. Uh, uh, Dinar found that uh, those nodes located deep in the functional graph have good properties. The first is that we could easily get a large, of, a large size of those deep iterates. Uh, the second is that uh, this deep iterate has a, ha a relatively high probability to be reached uh, when starting from uh, a random nodes. And so in Dinar's second free image attack, uh, after build the simultaneous expandable message, instead of directly match this pair, uh, the final, the pair of final states to a state uh, of the internal states in the uh, at the same alpha site in the original computation, it used the, the f deep iterator to make the connection efficient. The first property of deep iterate makes it uh, uh, efficient to find a pair of them to map the uh, internal states at the same alpha site. The second property of deep iterate makes it uh, efficient to find a, a, a common message fragment that maps the final state of the uh, um, uh, e simultaneous expandable message to the pair of deep iterate. So uh, the key is that you find a pair of starting nodes in the two functional graphs that could reach the, the pair of deep iterates at a common distance. Uh, that uh, techniques can also be used uh, to improve the pre-image attack on XOR combiner. So the optimal complexity are this, uh, tend to be this. So uh, based on the next attack, we further uh, prove they uh, improve uh, the pre-image attack on the XOR combiner, and we uh, uh, propose the first second pre-image attack on deeper hash. So we found that when you use the cyclic nodes as the, the target nodes, uh, there will be uh, it will bring uh, some more advantage. That is uh, because uh, it is easy to locate the largest cycles in the functional graph and collect uh, all of the cyclic nodes and get the cycle lines by repeat the cycle search alg algorithm several times. And uh, uh, furthermore, it is effortless to loop around the cycles to correct uh, the distance bias when try to reaching a pair of deep iterate. Most specifically, uh, suppose start from a, a random uh, state and after D1 iteration of F1, we could reach a cyclic node. And if we know the cycle lengths of L1, then we know for any i, after D1 plus uh, i times L1 iteration of F1, we will, uh, the, this xr will always reach the cyclic nodes. That is same for yr and y bar. So, uh, we know that as long as there exists uh, a pair of integer such that uh, the di uh, distance bears uh, equals to uh, the bears between multiple cycle lines, then we know there exists uh, a common distance for xr and yr uh, reach the pair of target nodes at a common distance. Uh, so we refer this as the correctable distance bias. So now the pre-image attack on uh, XOR combiner uh, goes as follows. Uh, first, uh, build the expandable message, and then uh, get the two random mappings and locate the largest cycles, collect uh, all of the cyclic nodes, and uh, this is done independently for the two hash one, the two random mapping. And from this, uh, uh, two sites of uh, independent uh, cyclic nodes, we find uh, uh, the some triples, X bar, Y bar, and M bar, where M bar is a message fragment encoded with the length, uh, length of the pre-image and maps the uh, X bar and Y bar to state whose sum equals to the given target value. Then, we launched a, a look-ahead procedure to developing no, more nodes and recode their distance to those uh, target nodes to make the, uh, the 
the next step is more efficient. So then we start from the final state of the simultaneous expandable message to enumerate a message block to find a pair of study nodes in the two functional graph to uh, such that they reach uh, a pair of uh, target nodes uh, at distance that could be correct that is correctable. And then we choose from the simultaneous expandable message with a message fragment of prop, uh, proper lines and uh, to concatenate the, those message fragments together and get the pre-image uh, of the uh, way. And these techniques can also be uh, used to launch a, a, a uh, second pre-image attack on zipper hash. So, uh, to we first uh, find and denies the simultaneous expandable message uh, to make it adapt to zipper hash. Uh, we, imp we place this structure in the middle of the two computation paths. And so uh, carefully chosen lines for the second pre-image is encoded uh, in the structure in advance. And we build it as uh, uh, sequentially because uh, only after we finish the process in the first pass, we can start the uh, uh, process in the second pass. And uh, then the pre-image attack on zipper hash goes as follows. Uh, to get, uh, first uh, get the two random mappings, F1 and F2, and uh, locate the largest cycles and get uh, a pair of uh, cyclic nodes uh, X bar and Y bar, we refer them as uh, the target nodes. And then let's say uh, look ahead procedure and start from the two uh, uh, target nodes, we build two independent drunk multi collision. And uh, then start uh, from the final state of the first drunk multi collision, we build a simultaneous expandable message across the two hash uh, uh, function and add the uh, uh, and uh, add a node uh, in the second pass. And then uh, uh, start from the uh, final state of the second ha uh, drunk's multi collision. We try to map it to uh, use a message block to an internal state of the, on the original computation chain uh, in the second pass. And immediately we could uh, map the, the uh, states in the first pass uh, uh, to a uh, state X. And then we uh, explore it, uh, messages in the second drunk multi collision to map XTO to a set of uh, starting nodes in the functional graph of F1 to, um, and uh, compute their distance to, towards the target nodes and uh, store together in uh, table T1. And then we utilize the, the messages in the first drunk multi collision to map the YT to a set of study notes in the functional graph of the uh, uh, F2 and uh, compute their distance towards the uh, target note y, y bar. And then uh, we um, map make a match between T1 and T2 to find a pair of uh, starting nodes in the two functional graph that they could reach uh, the, target, the pair of target nodes at a common distance. And uh, the, the uh, prefix uh, of the second pre-image has uh, bec uh, determined. And then, uh, from the simultaneous expandable message, we choose the uh, surface of the second free image with proper lines. And uh, concatenate those uh, message fragments, we get a valid second pre image. Note that uh, in ZipperHash, it, it fits the message lines in the middle of the two computation. So, uh, we could, we could optimize the computation complexity by choose a mes message lens for the second pre-image. And uh, it processed the message blocks in a reverse order uh, so that we could build uh, two independent drunk multi collision to make it possible to launch a meet in the middle procedure uh, in the SQL.
So now let's uh, summarize uh, the current state of uh, uh, hash combiners in the following two table. From this two table, uh, this uh, con uh, contains the upper bound and the lower bound. Mm, from this two table, we could see the upper bound and the lower bound is very close uh, for some combiners. Uh, this. So, however, from the trade off curves uh, between the message lines and uh, the attack complexity, we can say that uh, uh, for short messages, me uh, the upper bound and the lower, the gap between the upper bound and the lower bound is still very huge. So uh, that might be uh, for the future work. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you.